The girls that get it, get it, period. Hey, it's Janae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey. Today's video is gonna be an open letter to my subscribers. I just came up with this idea about two hours ago to do this video because on, mm -mm, was it Monday? Was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday, I actually uploaded a vlog and in that vlog, I was talking about how I'm leaving my perfectionist mindset in 2022. And I was also talking about how um, I kind of sometimes compare myself to other creators, kind of feel like, you know, I'm not being creative or my content isn't getting the support that it needs or it doesn't have the right eyes on it, whatever, whatever, imposter syndrome, your girl was complaining. Um, but I just want to take the time to say that y'all are not the problem. So I wanted to share some of the comments from that video um, just to say thank you. Like I really appreciate all the love, support, encouragement, kind words that you guys give me. I was not really complaining about y'all and I really don't think that y'all took it that way, but I just wanna make sure that you guys know that I see you and I love you and I appreciate you. That just really touched my heart. Um, also in that video, I was saying how I needed a hug and I just, the amount of you guys that just said, hey Janae, I'm sending you virtual hugs. Like some of you even like took the time to send me like a DM, like a private message. So I won't share any of those just because if you wanted the girls to see it, you would have put it in the comment section, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's get into it. So the first comment I wanna read is from one of my subscribers, her name is Natalie, and I will also do my best to pop these on the screen. So it says, imposter syndrome is so real and it's something where you almost have to keep reminding yourself of how much you've accomplished in order to remember that you are deserving. You are literally my favorite content creator on YouTube. Your monthly favorites and styling videos are some of my personal faves for inspo. Please don't compare yourself to others because the girls that get it, get it, period. We love you for your uniqueness and we're here for your journey sending hugs. So I felt the hug in that and I just wanna say thank you. The next comment is from Jaira, hey girl. It says, girl, I felt this in so many ways, especially the perfectionist rut, woo child, but you're doing amazing sending you virtual hugs. Can't wait for the next vid. See how I'm just smiling through all of this because these comments just really made me smile. In that vlog, I also talked about how I had just hit two years consistently on YouTube last Thursday. So my YouTube anniversary was last week and I was saying that I kind of felt a little bummed out that I didn't um, celebrate it yet because I'm gonna celebrate, I'm gonna do something, but my mind has just been in other places. I've been thinking about a whole lot of other stuff like I expressed in that video. So. Um, Chantel said, girl, you deserve to be celebrated. Two years is big. We appreciate whatever content you give us. Celebrate every milestone. Drink some wine and do your puzzle because I was putting my Legos together. Um, we support you. We love you. I look at your content. You inspire me so much and I'm buying that Lego set. I can't wait to get mine. Air hugs from me. Air hugs back to you, Chantel. I really appreciate that. So my girl Keisha said, first, you are amazing. Thank you, girl. So are you. Second, whatever you post, I will be watching. The art of creativity isn't perfect. You have your own style. I love how your vlogs feel like you. Keep doing your thing. You got this and you deserve everything you dream of. I love how you had to remind me, say to me, the art of creativity isn't perfect because it's not. And that's what I've always been just kind of like struggling with. During my time as a content creator, I have always been like, oh my God, it's not perfect enough. It's not perfect enough. And constantly comparing myself to like other creators. And that's exactly what has like blocked all all of my blessings so I'm glad that I opened up and shared that with y'all because you guys are giving me like great feedback and in turn it's just really helping me be more appreciative of like the space that I'm in and it just kind of like reaffirms that I am contributing positively to the internet. <laughs> Nafi said, Janae, we love you. I love y'all too. I'm realizing that a lot of creators are in a similar space when it comes to just being. I hope that makes sense. It does. A lot of the sentiments you shared and this is what I feel. Trust we get it and you're going to be fine. Continue to live in the moments. Be honest with yourself first and always and always give yourself grace. I really, really, really appreciate this comment from Nafi. He's also a creator, so I will link his um, channel in the description box. And anybody else who I com who um, whose comment I read was also a creator or a YouTuber, I will put their channel in the description box too. This comment I really, really loved because 
you'll see why I loved it. So she says, I can't relate to, on the content side of things because child, I've tried to make a couple reels and I, co I commend y'all creators, but I definitely feel that in my career, there's so much more that I could be doing, but I don't because I question how I would be different from everyone else. But I need to remind myself that we were all put on this earth to contribute in some way, so just do it. So I do want to um, highlight this particular comment because it just goes to show that the pressure that I'm feeling and the sentiments that I have are not something that's like exclusive to being a content creator. The whole world right now is just really going through it. Um, post pandemic has just been, well, not even post pandemic, I'll say post quarantine has just been a really challenging time for like a lot of people. The economy is in shambles. Um, people's mental health is all over the place. It's just like crazy out there. Not to mention there's like crazy, crazy stuff on the news going on every day. It's just a lot going on. And I always say there's a lot competing for our attentions. And sometimes as a content creator or someone who's like job and you know, focus is set on the internet. You can get distracted by a lot of that stuff, but you have to realize that there are people who are just spectators and they have their own lives. And these sentiments are shared amongst them within their industry and their careers too. So I just wanted to highlight that, that um, a lot of the things that I feel about my contribution to the space that I'm in do not, they're not like exclusive to being a YouTuber or exclusive to being a content creator. Everybody feels, you know, these things, so. I'm gonna read two more comments. This one is from Stephanie. She said, I found nothing incomplete about this vlog. I enjoyed the music selection. I enjoyed the baby hair tutorial and most of all your goals and your feelings. I stood up on the TikTok portion because I swear TikTok sabotages. I was complaining about the way it's so easy to make typos on TikTok and it's like nothing you can do about it. Um, she said, congratulations on two years. You've literally led the way for so many of us and are a true influencer in every way. I can't wait to see what you create in this new year on your own time and in your way. Your creativity superpower is relatability. She shines without having to do much of anything. So I really appreciate that. Not only is Stephanie a good friend of mine, she is also a content creator. So I will put her information in the description box. And the reason why I love that vlog, I mean, that comment is because I was talking about how incomplete the content felt, the clips are from like weeks apart. Um, sometimes I don't have a consistent like filming schedule. So you may see something from like Monday of last week. And then, um, oh, Alexa is telling me that my tripod is arriving on Saturday. I ordered a new tripod, y'all. Um, but yeah, so sometimes you'll see clips from like two weeks, you know, ago, and then it'll be like a hurry day. So sometimes I toss that footage if I don't feel like it's cohesive enough. But um, in the vlog, I was saying this feels incomplete and if it just is what it is this year. I'm just gonna have to share myself in its most authentic form. And if that comes in the form of an incomplete two week vlog, then that just is what it is. So the fact that she was like, nothing felt incomplete, just lets me know that like, you know, y'all get it, okay? The last comment I'm gonna read is from my girl Jada. It says, woo, I feel you. I'm trying to make 2023 a year of peace, but I also struggle with holding myself to way too high of a standard. So I'm working on leaving perfectionism in 2022. Gotta give yourself grace and love yourself into where you're trying to be. And that's so true. You've got to give yourself grace. I don't extend a lot of grace to myself and I'm gonna tell you guys why. I'm really hard on myself for not taking myself seriously sooner. I've told you guys, I've been on um, this journey to become a content creator for like years, y'all. Like, I'm 30 now. <laughs> so um, I started creating content probably when I was like 21. So, you know, over a decade, and I feel like I haven't seen a lot of ROI, but that's just because, for one, yes, I have. I need to like take a moment step back and look at the things that I have accomplished, all that I have contributed to. No amount of money that I could ever get from creating content will amount to the love I have for the community that I've built across platforms in any way. Like, I feel like I have a lot of online besties and I love y'all so much and really appreciate your support. Um, but I guess sometimes I feel like I'm a little behind my peers in certain ways because there's like numbers don't reflect certain things or um, partnerships don't respect, um, reflect certain things. And I just always get in my head like, dang, you know, you should have took it seriously in 2015 and 16 and 17 and all this time you've had. But it's like, I'm right where I need to be right now. And that's what's important. I need to get out of my own way, my own head and just do it. Hey y'all, editing Janae here. So I'm in the middle of putting this video together and I realized there's another comment that I completely forgot to highlight. So I'm just gonna pop it on the screen right here, take some time to read it, and then yeah, we get back to the video. Well, 
I want to put this video out to again give a big big thank you to you guys I really appreciate your support and if I came off in that video in that vlog as if I was just like not appreciative of the support that I have from the ones who are already here. I just want to, for one, apologize if I made y'all feel that way, but also just let you know that I truly appreciate you listening to me, watching my content, and I just want to say thank you. And for you guys who take the time to even comment and engage and interact, because I respond to every single comment. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And I give each comment like attention. I just don't throw an emoji up or something, you know, um, I try to like give genuine interaction with you guys because that's how you build community and that's how you maintain it. Um, and even like my girl Chloe, who's been um, a mu an online mutual of mine for years, okay? She left a comment on a video um, a few videos ago saying that she doesn't even like watch YouTube a lot anymore, but she still left like three or four comments on my last video. So I just really appreciate her for like watching even though she don't even watch YouTube like that no more. So that's it. I just want to say again, thank you guys so much. Okay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is going to be a great year for us all. Um, perfection is gone. Like I don't care about being perfect anymore. I just want to be authentic as real as I can be. And I'm just happy that you guys are here for the ride. So happy two years to me. Happy two years to us. Happy two years to y'all. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video.